the fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're here in Savannah, Georgia, and we're going to talk about the don'ts of visiting Georgia. And the first don't I have for you is don't forget your manners when you come here to Georgia. That yes ma'am, yes sir, no ma'am, no, no sir, please, thank yous, opening the door for people, holding the door for the older ladies, giving your seat up. This is a thing here in Georgia, and you need to do it, because if you don't, you might get a bless your heart. And believe me, when they say bless your heart, they usually don't mean blessing your heart. They mean you can go do something else, all right? So make sure you pack your manners when you do come here to Georgia, okay? And the next don't I have for you is actually one that happened to me. The first time I flew down to Georgia, I flew here to Savannah to visit Jocelyn in August, and that is don't worry if you can't breathe when you come out of the airport in July and August. Look, the heat and the humidity here in Georgia in the summer is oppressive. Like, I remember... I mean, think about it. I'm in the airport, go to the airport, I fly down from Illinois, fly here to Georgia, can I walk out of there? I'm like, see Jocelyn, I love you too, sweetie. Walk outside the Savannah airport, I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. Like, I thought I was gonna die. And Josh's like, no, it's just the humidity. Just breathe, you'll be okay. I mean, it took me about 30 seconds to be like, <sighs> it was like breathing through water. I mean, it is insane how hot and humid it can be here in July and August. So honestly, be ready for it. You want to have a great time in Georgia. Come in April, May, early June, you know, late September, October. It's gorgeous when you're here and you're not going to melt or turn into a wet ball of melty wettiness. I mean, it's just, oh, it's just, it can be a bit much. So be ready for that heat and humidity when you come in the summer. Now, my next don't for you is don't think you know what you're going to be walking into when you come to Georgia. Because when you say, oh, I'm going to Georgia, people have a stereotype of what Georgia is. I've got to tell you, Georgia is a lot of things. and It's got a lot of variety from North Georgia mountains to here on the coast, you know, in the low country, in Savannah to Atlanta. You have a lot of different people. You have a lot of different geographies. You have a lot of different, you know, ideologies and, and, and mentalities. And what you need to know is when you come here to Georgia, have an open mind because you will see a lot more people than, and a lot more thoughts and a lot more kind of discussions and, and activities and things to do than you expect. Okay. So, do come here with an open mind. Don't think you know what you're getting when you come to Georgia because you get a lot of different stuff when you come here. But regardless where you go in Georgia, another don't I have for you is don't get in a hurry. Look, in Savannah, they call it slow vanna because it's slow. Service takes a while. They're very friendly, but it takes a while to get things done. It takes a while for things to happen. You know, just just relax. Just remember, think, think like, you know, island time kind of stuff. Not quite that slow, like island time, but you really realize in Georgia, things take a little bit longer to get things done. And as a tourist, that means don't get frustrated when you're waiting to get a table, waiting to get your drinks, waiting to get served. You will get served and you will get served with a smile. And that sweet tea will be just as wonderful, but just now probably not gonna be super fast. Okay, so just, just be ready for that. And the thing is, is those friendly people that serve you and all around here, my next don't for you is don't pass up the friendly advice. Look, the locals in Georgia love when people come down here and they're going to tell you, oh, the best place to get shrimp and grits, go here. Oh, if you're in Atlanta, oh yeah, you got to go to a Mary Max Tea Room and get yourself some food there. It's fantastic. People will gladly share all the information you ever wanted to know about the place you're going to go because they're very proud of their towns, their cities, their counties, their, their state. And so they'll tell you, oh, you should go here. You should go there because they want you to enjoy Georgia. And so listen to them. I know there's a lot of blogs and vlogs out there about Georgia like mine, and you actually should do that. But I'll tell you what, if you need, if your waiter is like, or waitress is like, hey, you know where you should go next? Go here and eat this. Listen to them, okay? Ask them, hey, what should I get? Where should I go? What, what are the best places to do? Ask them. They'll be more than happy to help you out. And, and it's really a nice thing because the people here really are super friendly and super helpful. So take that and use that to your advantage when you're here to learn more about the state, more about the people, and more importantly, more about the food. And speaking of that food, I have another don't for you, and that is don't think grits are just for breakfast, okay? I know a lot of people think, oh, instant grits, that's a breakfast thing. Look, first off, you don't do instant grits when you're down here. It's slow cooked grits and you have that. And when in the afternoon or an evening time, shrimp and grits is a definite must eat when you are here in Georgia. So definitely grab some when you're here. But don't think grits is just a morning thing. And if you tell somebody from Georgia it's a morning thing, they'll be like, oh, y'all don't know what you're missing, okay? So something to think about when you're coming here. Now, another don't I have for you is don't you dare offer a Georgian unsweet tea. I know people say, well, there's unsweet tea all around Georgia. <laughs> yeah, ain't nobody drinking that stuff, okay? This is sweet tea country. When you ask for a tea, 
They're like, hey, can I get tea, sweet tea? Yeah, they, it's good. They're going to have it. If you go to a restaurant that does not have sweet tea in Georgia, you should probably leave because it probably is not a very good restaurant because locals would not go there because they love their sweet tea. And I'll, I'll be honest, if your only experience with sweet tea is like going to McDonald's for their sweet tea, dude, Georgia sweet tea is like next level when you're here. So definitely get that. And, and don't you dare offer a Georgian unsweet tea. That's just, that's just wrong. Another food don't I have for you is don't diss or be confused by boiled peanuts. I know the first time I came to visit Jocelyn, okay? And that's, that was the, oh, I can't breathe visit, right? We went to the pig, Piggly Wiggly, when it was here. And I walked in, they're like, here you go. And they gave me a styrofoam cup, which blew my mind right there, but a styrofoam cup full of wet, hot peanuts. I'm like, what is this? And I'm like walking around with this. I'm like, what do I do with these? And I'm like, I guess I eat them. So I, I threw one in my mouth, with the, the shell and all. And I'd shoot it and swallow the whole thing. And my wife looks at me, she's like, what the hell are you doing? I'm like, I, I, peanut, it was soft. I, I she's like, no. Look, when you get boiled peanuts, you're gonna get them, whether it's in a, you go to a gas station and get in a plastic bag or a styrofoam cup or whatever, you're gonna get them and they're hot boiled peanuts. They got some spice in them. You throw the whole peanut with the shell in your mouth, kind of suck on it, chew on it a little bit, crack it, get the peanuts out. You take out the shell, you don't eat the shell. You take that out and then eat the peanuts. And oh my God, they are phenomenal. So you get a chance right here. This is peanut country. You gotta eat the boiled peanuts, okay? So don't pass them up and don't diss them thinking, oh, why would I want a wet peanut? Oh, you will love a wet peanut. Take my word for it. Now, if you're looking to come to Georgia, I will give you, I know I told you about the July and August heat and humidity, but you can still come because you have beaches here. You have the mountains to go hiking. You'll still be okay in the heat and humidity, but I got to tell you, my next dome for you is if you have allergies, don't come to Georgia in March. The pollen is insane. I'm talking, you can scrape it off your car, okay, into your hand amount of yellow pollen. It will rain in March and people will be like, oh, look, there's someone drawing crayons on our driveway. No, no, that's the pollen collecting from the rainwater. I mean, it can be really bad. So if you've got allergies, you're coming in March, early April, make sure you're bringing a plenty of Benadryl or your anti-allergy medicine. Otherwise, you're going to be miserable when you're here. Now, the thing is, it might be miserable, but it's still a great time to come. St. Patrick's Day Festival or parade here in Savannah is awesome. Uh, the, the flowers are blooming. It's gorgeous. So that's another great thing. But yeah, allergy wise, uh, not the most fun time to be here. And there's another thing I need to talk about in terms of nature here in, in, in Georgia. And that is don't get freaked out by the bugs. OK, you'll have like palmetto bugs, which are giant flying cockroaches. The first time I saw them, I thought it was a bat flying by. Oh, no, no. Big flying like palmetto bug. It just oh, don't freak out by them. Just know that they're there. Also, the mosquitoes here are horrible. And you see the Spanish moss hanging there. Don't play with the Spanish moss, okay? Because you play with the Spanish moss, there's little bugs in there that will bite you. So if you got little kids and like, oh, Spanish moss, I'm gonna play with this and put it in my shirt. No, don't do that. Do not mess with the bugs when you're here, okay? That's why, bring bug spray with you, buy bug spray when you're here, and the locals all have it with them. You don't have any, you go into a restaurant if you're outside, ask them, hey, do you have some bug spray? Most of the time, they will actually have some bug spray to help people out because, oh my God, Oh yeah, the bugs can be really bad here. Now my next set of don'ts for you for here in Georgia are gonna deal with some of the cities and, and towns around Georgia. And, and the most important city in Georgia is Atlanta, of course. And my don't for that is don't take 285 around Georgia. Cause I know a lot of times when you go to big cities, you wanna take the ring road around to avoid the bad traffic downtown. Look, all the traffic in Atlanta sucks. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. But what you need to know is 285 is where all the, the trucks have to go. If you go through the center of the city, 75 or 85, trucks aren't on that through the center of downtown. So actually it's for me, I feel it's safer and better. And so does Jocelyn to actually take 75 through downtown than it is to take 285 around. So have a heads up for that. And, and also don't lose your mind in Atlanta traffic because no matter what you do, it's going to be traffic. There's going to be a lot of traffic. We're talking eight lanes on both sides, full of people. Keep your wits about you. You'll be okay. It all, it usually keeps moving sometimes a bit slower than other times, but but just know that you will get through. Don't take 285 around, just go through and, and have some patience when you're there and you're driving through. And the thing is, is another don't I have for you is don't just drive through Atlanta. Like when you're going to, to Athens for a UGA game or you come down here to Savannah or going to the islands, look, Atlanta is awesome. I, Atlanta has so many great museums to check out, the, Aquari the Georgia Aquarium that's there, Coca-Cola World, civil rights stuff. I mean. And okay, there's so many great things to do in Atlanta and eating there. Oh my God, I love Mary Max Tea Room. It's my go-to when I'm there. There's so many cool things to do in Atlanta, except driving, because that totally sucks. So when you get there, park the car, use Uber to get around because 
it will save you a lot of headaches than you trying to drive around Atlanta because that don't drive to Atlanta. It just sucks. Okay. Just letting you know that one, but don't skip Atlanta. All right. It is awesome. If I look at a town like here in Savannah, if you're going to come to Savannah, I will tell you is don't skip out on the trolley tour. I know a lot of times I say, you know, think about it, is the hop on hop off bus really worth it? Well, here in Savannah, they have a bunch of trolley tours that go around. It was great. I mean, you go to the Savannah uh, History Museum. They have the Georgia R State Railroad Museum there. You can do that. That's really fun. I recommend going there. But you can park there and grab a trolley from there. I mean, you can grab the trolley around town. It's hop on, hop off. But I like starting there because that's where the tour starts. And the guides, they go through all this history of the city. They talk about the historic homes as you go around. And it gives you an excellent background on the city. So when you're walking around, you know, this part. Oh, yeah, there's the Pulaski Monument. But the Pulaski Square is actually not where that is. You're like, oh, I didn't know that. Why is that? They talk about these things. And since history is a really, really big thing here in Savannah, it's really good to get that background when you're here. So take that trolley tour. I know I just talked about Atlanta and Savannah, but I think it's really important for a lot of tourists to know that don't think that Georgia is just big city Atlanta and then historic city Savannah. There's a lot of really great things to see and do when you are here in Georgia. So you got the North Georgia mountains. Go to Helen, Georgia. It's like you're walking into a Bavarian village. It's, it's really, really cool. Or maybe you want to go and go to Athens, Georgia, where the University of Georgia is and take in a game there. That was a fun time in itself. There's a lot of pretty things to do around there. Or you go to St. Simons Island or Jekyll Island or, you know, Defusky. There's so many things to see and do in the state that it's not just Savannah and Georgia. So get out and explore more because it's worth it. I mean, heck, go have some Vidalia onions in Vidalia. They have a festival for that. Or you can go to Rock City and you can see seven states at one time. I mean, there is plenty to see and do when you're here. Now, another don't I need to bring up, especially for people that are from the South is, I guess I would say is don't forget the Southern sayings, okay? The bless your hearts that I'm fixing to, I'm fixing to means I'm getting ready to do something or I'm gonna do it in the future. Bless your heart can mean a lot of things like actually bless your heart or bless your heart, you're an idiot, okay? So there's a lot of things there. Um, my wife likes to say, quit being ugly, which is if you're saying something mean about somebody or not being very nice, you'll say, hey, quit being ugly. Like, just stop that, okay? There is a lot of sayings that are out there. And so if you, what are you, some of your favorite Southern sayings? Put it down in the comment section below so we can share some moments. Of course, keep it clean, keep it fun, but it is one of those things. You will hear, like I said, with those manner things, yes, ma'am, yes, sir, no, ma'am, no, sir. You make sure you have that. You'll have a good old time when you're here in Georgia. Now, there is one way you could not have a good time when you're here in Georgia, and that is anytime it snows or there's a hint of snow or a hint of ice, the entire state shuts down. So if there's a threat of snow or ice in like the next two or three days, don't leave your house. It's going to be a mad rush to Publix. They're going to buy out everything. There'll be nothing there. And because what happens is the state of Georgia is not prepared for ice and snow. It's not that they can't drive on it. It's just that if there's nobody, there's no salt, there's no cinders, there's no shoveling equipment, no plows. It doesn't really matter what you do. This much ice is still ice. And so everything gets shut down. OK, so if you're here in the winter and you see that, oh, snow's coming or a possibility of snow. I've been here before and they said snow was going to be in two days. They closed the school down the day before the snow happened because like, look, we want everybody home and, and settled in. So so just know that. All right. Another way you can have a bad time when you're here. I want to tell you this one is uh, don't compare Georgia and Florida in a way that makes Florida look better. Except if you say Florida man did this. That's OK, because Georgia man's not quite as crazy as Florida man. But honestly, they do not like the University of Georgia here. They want to have the UGA versus Florida game. Uh, it, it's always a crazy time. But just know that Florida, not really liked here. Not really uh, looked up to, let's say, because it's all about UGA, right? Go dogs! All right, so you have that. And then my last little don't I have for you, this is one that's specifically for my wife, because this always gets here, because we live up in the north, and that is don't confuse the Georgia G with a Green Bay Packers G. Yes, they're like the same thing, but they're different colors. The Georgia G, red and black. Green Bay Packers, green and yellow. And so whenever my wife drives around and she's got the Georgia G on the back and people ask her, oh, are you a Green Bay Packers fan? She's like, no, it's a Georgia G, black and red. It's There's no green, there's no yellow. What's wrong with you? So if you want to make sure you keep your, your uh, Georgia friends happy, remember which G is the Georgia G, all right? So I hope this helps you get ready for a wonderful trip to Georgia. I've come here dozens and dozens of times. So many times, actually, my oldest son was born here and actually in Savannah. So uh, I wish you all the best and enjoy your time here. If you want to learn more, maybe the don'ts of Savannah, what to eat in the South. We've got all kinds of videos to help you out. The shocks of the South, the don'ts of the South, which expands on this. Check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. And a special thank you 
to our patrons and members. Y'all rock. So I'll see you later and bye from here in Georgia.